I'm gonna show you So you won't feel this me This is a game you might not know But that I still ready them sweet This is a game you might not know But that I still ready them sweet He might look like he's over Or even maybe he's a broken But that is not the point of this He's gonna tell you what you mean This is a game you might not know But that I still ready them sweet This is a game you might not know But that I still ready them sweet I still ready them sweet Sweet! Hey guys, what's up? It's crazy to think that it's been over a year now that I've been hanging out on that guy with the glasses. So many things happened this year. But you know what? The best thing during the year has always been trying to entertain your poor newbie asses. Yes, even making crappy 5 second movies about Resident Evil. But I'm finally back with the best show in the known universe. With a game! Wow! That represents what old computers were all about. That's why I got this poor excuse for a kimono to play some fucking International Karate Plus! Gee, just the music had me shaking my hands. The International Karate series has been all over computers during the late 80s and early 90s. And it's one of the most memorable games of that era. But I'm not here to discuss the first Commodore 64 game. No, I'm here to talk about AK Plus, which really is the best game in the series to my knowledge. Why? Well, let the game do the talking. Holy fucking cow! That's all you need right there! Three player simultaneous action, a shitload of moves, and old style kung fu sound effects. Listen! You can literally have just as much fun just listening to the game. These sound effects are golden. They would make anything awesome. Even like... Holiday greetings? So as I was saying, you have a billion of moves available, and all that with one button. I'm not kidding. Well, it's no secret to me that you can do wonders with the use of a single button, but here, with a joystick and one button, you can low kick, high kick, punch, jump and kick, punch in the nuts, do anything. The goal is not to kill your opponents, but rather to hit them properly to get a good mark and avoid being hit, which makes it more like a sport and less like a real fight. The game consists mostly of a succession of fights between the three guys on the screen and after you gain some experience, you kind of level up by having a new belt. And back in the days, it was all the motivation you would need. The game is one addictive motherfucker. Don't even get me started about the multiplayer mode. I've played this shit with Barry ten times more than we've played the national sport here, but get fighting. From time to time, the game will cut from the standard fight to a bonus stage. Oh, you might be like, oh, it's going to be the standard training karate shit from Karate Kid, right? Fuck! No! Here, you will either have to kick bombs out of the screen with your bare feet, or shield yourself against waves of balloon and bouncing heads. Huh? Awesome! The fun of this game knows no limits. Once you've started, you can't get enough of it. The multiplayer really makes this game an early Smash Brothers in a way, a great game to play with your family. Well, that is if you have indeed a family. A family. A family. Daddy, I know you're not my real mom. Where is she? Well, Barry, your mom has left us. She had an accident. She died. I see. But don't worry. You know, your mom is still around. You just say that to make me feel better. Oh no. I mean, she's been literally feeding us for the past two months. Wait, you mean... Yes, my son. Now hurry up and eat because I can't microwave your mother. Oh well, c'est la vie. It's not that in bed. Sure, the graphics aren't the best of that era, especially from Atari ST or the Mega, which can display much better stuff, but damn it, this game hasn't said its last word. 
Well, since it's an action game, you would assume that you use mostly the joystick, right? Well, that would be the case if it wasn't for the greatest, and I mean greatest, secret ever invented in a video game. Forget about the Konami code, forget about the warp zone in Mario. Here you have something worth your money. I would have bought this game for this feature alone. Better than whatever is in a Pandora box. You unleash the awesome by pressing a single T key. Yes! You saw it right, their pants are dropping. And it's totally random, so you can still hit your opponents if that happens to them. Even if the graphics aren't top notch, it's enough to appreciate their expression when it happens. Duh. Back then, it was the best thing ever. And back then, I would always boot up the game, just for the pleasure of seeing these guys' pants dropping down on the floor. What? Well, I was curious, okay? It's not what you think. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine if I was gay? My name's Ben Zai, and you know that I'm always kissing guys I got the boogaloo flu, doing the dudes It's called AIDS, semantics, anyway I can talk all day long about how amazing dogs look and thongs But you know that I rock that gay parade And I'm ready for the summertime, dude, boo day Checking them out, looking at guys, checking them out ring a ding dong dong and a thong Well, at least I'd get to dance more often I clearly remember that when playing it with my brother, we would sometimes have one person playing and the other typing frenetically, so the first could hit the enemies being like, What? This is one priceless emotion right there. Forget about Shadow the Colossus. This is the greatest moment in video game history. Even though the original game was on Commodore 64, I'd rather play a 16-bit version for its updated graphics. Think about it, this game was the equivalent of Super Smash Bros. back then, only with the extra power of dropping people's pants. The things I would do with such a power... What? I'm just curious. Oh well, it will remain in the realm of fantasy. By the way, the game has been made available on the European Virtual Console on the Wii. And it's worth a try, you can trust me. It's even referenced in this very awesome and crazy video I'm sure you've seen recently. You see, this is the mark of great games. This game takes the cake. The crazy training sessions, the three fighters at a time, the leveling system, the crazy sound effects, the sweaty karate pants dropping, the sunset, the music... Well, I'm sure now I share the love I have for this game with you guys. Until then, I'll keep on playing. I'm hooked! Wait, why isn't it working now? No, I'm telling you, Caster, this game sucks! <laughs> Shut up! Ah, damn it, what's wrong? Big gun, where did he purchase that? Drop it! What the fuck? Oh no. Oh, jeez, forget it! I am never going to beat this level! Drop your fucking pants! Oh yeah! Panty power! Oh yeah! What's the problem with this game? Wait, there was another window open. Let's see. But what really pisses me off about this movie is... Huh. My pants just dropped. So anyway! Oh boy!